Good morning, adventurers. Today we're in Cajuita, which is a small town in the Limon province of Costa Rica. And we're gonna be trying some of the most popular dishes from the country. Up first, we're trying gallo pinto, which is the traditional breakfast of rice and beans and eggs. And basically, any restaurant you're gonna go to should have it on the menu, so it should be pretty easy to find. Let's go give it a try. So this is the dish, and I guess gallo pin pinto, when it's um, translated, means spotted rooster. They said, I don't know, the mixing of the rice and beans somehow resembles a rooster. I don't know. I think normally it comes with a tortilla. I'm wondering if they're out today. So we got bread, and then you usually get coffee or a fruit drink with it. And I thought I was ordering a fruit drink, but accidentally ordered iced tea, so... <laughs> Oopsie. Yeah. My bad. I need it's to, still good though, huh? It's really good. I need to brush up on my Spanish, though. Alright, I'm gonna give it a try. It's really good. The rice, you can see there's a lot going on here. That We got like some onions in here, some peppers. So the rice tastes amazing. Hey buddy. <laughs> this is also traditional Costa Rican. To have a dog come up when you're eating. It has a lot of seasoning on it. It's yeah. really good. I thought it was just gonna be like beans and rice mixed together, but yeah. it's got a lot going on in there, a lot of flavor. Next we're heading just down the road to try another popular dish called, uh, it's like a fruit salad or ensalada yeah. de frutas. But it looks really amazing. It's literally just like a giant bowl of mixed fruit. Yeah, and Costa Rica is known for having plenty of fruit, so we figure you can't go wrong. This looks amazing. Ah! Looks like there's banana and watermelon and papaya and pineapple and mango. Dude, that's a good spread. All the best looks fruit awesome. ever. Oh yeah, that's nice good. And juicy. Very fresh. See, we got some watermelon. I'm just gonna try one of everything separately first. Oh hell yeah. You know, we never buy mangoes because they're really hard to get ripe. You know, if they're not ripe, they kind of taste like cleaner a little bit, but these ones are ripe and they taste really good. I'm gonna make a little sandwich. I'm attempting what no man or woman has ever done before. Mm. <laughs> Don't need that part. <laughs> oh yeah, talk about a flavor explosion. Oh yeah. So you can actually get this smothered in ice cream, but we opted to not do that because we figure it's already a plate full of sugar, even though it's fruit. So you don't really want to add like ice cream on top of that, but, but you but could you do could. it. You and could it, do it. And it's so warm here that it would be amazing. Yeah, and you probably should try it once. really good. Is it? <laughs> yeah. I've never had coconut before from like a real coconut, like the coconut juice. This is freaking tasty though. Yeah. It's very nice. Yeah. Mm. It's really good. Cool. Huh? It's better than this store-bought stuff. That's the only thing we've ever had is like yeah. Zico coconut water. That's legit. All right, so it's getting about dinner time. So we're gonna go try our final dishes of the day which is uh, casado, which is another um, 
really popular dish, and this one's supposed to be for lunch, but we ate breakfast at late, we're doing it for dinner, but it's rice and beans separated, usually with a meat, and then a little salad on the side, and then ceviche, because you can't come to a beach town and not get something with fish. This looks awesome. <laughs> Check this out. This is amazing. <laughs> There's a lot going on here. <laughs> yes. So, as we mentioned earlier, the beans and rice are separated in this dish. Mm -hmm. uh, we've also got some sweet uh, fried plantain, right? Mm -hmm. and we've got some awesome looking chicken over here. Check that out. And a little salad. salad. And I know what you're thinking. This is the weirdest ceviche you've ever seen. And that's because it's not ceviche. They were actually out, but it's okay because we got another um, traditional, they call them bocas, I think. They're like essentially appetizers or small plates. This was one we really wanted to try too. Yes. We debated doing that for the video, so now yeah, we're doing it. So now we're doing it, but you should still try ceviche. But so this is smashed plantains. You can kind of see here that have been fried. And then this is black bean dip. So I think it's gonna be pretty magical. It looks like chocolate pudding. It does. Hope it does not taste like that. Ooh. Is it good? Mm hmm. Nice. Those flavors are really good together. I thought it'd be really sweet, but it's not really that sweet at all. It's really good. It's like a big fat plantain chip. Yeah. You know? It's really but, meaty. Yeah, I like that it's not sweet. I was expecting it to be sweet for some reason, but it's not sweet at all. It's actually really nice. Should we dig into this sucker now? Yeah. Are you ready for it? Yeah. Oh, man. Dude, that just fall apart. Oh my god, it just peeled right off. Dude. Let's get a little rice on there. A couple of beans. I still don't know what the sauce is, but it is amazing. The chicken is so good and moist. Oh my gosh, look at that. Perfect bite. The perfect bite. <laughs> the sauce on this chicken is awesome. I'm really not exactly sure what it is either. I can't really tell, but it's kind of spicy. But the sauce on the chicken is what brings it all together because these don't have like a ton of flavor on their own, but with the sauce from the chicken, it brings it all out, brings it all together. The plantain is magical. It's like super sweet, it's fried perfectly, it tastes amazing. It's nice because you go from like the savory and you get a little sweet over there. Yeah, it's a perfect combination. So Casados translates to married man, married men, I guess. and. It's called that because one theory is that because married men would, their wives would pack this for them before they'd go out to the field for the day, something like that. Yeah, I think so. I think they'd put the rice and beans and whatever meat in a banana leaf and send them out yeah. with it. But and then I read another thing that said that some people think that it's because like when they set up the dish, the rice and the beans are like married together because they're kind of right next oh. to each other. So pretty, pretty quaint little story. Yeah. <laughs> All right guys, we are back at the Casa. Hope you guys enjoyed coming along with us while we try some of the foods here in Costa Rica. If you guys enjoyed this video or found it helpful, make sure you hit the like button or hit the share button to share it with your friends. And if you want to see more videos like this, more food videos and travel vlogs, then click the subscribe button so you don't miss a video. Yes, and everything we tried today, we will um, put down below. We'll put a description of, well, we'll put the restaurant we ate at and the description of the dish and how much we spent on everything so you'll know. That's all, guys. Good night, adventures. We'll see you on the road. <laughs>